When you're playing bluegrass music, and I'm talking from experience here because I used to play loads of bluegrass gigs with my dad, you only need a handful of chords to make it through pretty much any bluegrass song. You know, you might use six chords at the most. Most songs use three, four, or five. So I wanna show you a way that you can get through any bluegrass song if you know a little bit of information and you have one of these guys, a capo. We'll get to that a little bit later. Uh, the first thing you need to know is just the names of the chords in the key of G major because the most popular bluegrass key of all time is G major. A lot of the vocabulary comes from those types of chord shapes like G, C, and D. And speaking of G, C, and D, those are the major chords in the key of G major. And you can tell that just if you look at a G major scale, G, A, B, C, D, E, and F sharp, just circle the one, four, and five. Those chords out of the scale will have major chords that go along with them and those chords are one, G, four, C, and D will be the five, all major chords. Now, if you look at two, three, and six for the key of G major, you end up with A minor, B minor, and E minor, because the two, three, and six chords or scale degrees for the key of G major always have minor chords that go along with them, or not always, they naturally have minor chords that go along with them. So there you're like your first core options for minor chords in the key of G major. And most of the time when you're playing bluegrass music, it's gonna be a one, some version of a one, four, five, and you might have a six thrown in there, an E minor. You might have a two chord, an A minor, and probably the most other common chord in bluegrass music is what we call a major two or a five of five, which is just, you can think about it as an A major. Just take the two chord and A minor and turn it into a major chord. Those are the most common chords that you're gonna experience in bluegrass music. So it's really important to have the key of G major down extremely well if you wanna play bluegrass music because you're gonna be using it a lot. And if you need to play in other keys, you can just use a capo. But like step one, like ground zero assignment for this lesson if you wanna play bluegrass and get through any song is to just memorize the chords in the key of G major or at least the one, four, the five, G, C, and D, the six, E minor, and then the two, A minor, and then maybe make it a major, major two. And if you can do that, you can get through pretty much any bluegrass song. Let's say um, you wanted to play a bluegrass song and somebody's yelling out numbers at you. Oh, you don't know this song? That's okay. I'll just yell out here. Play a one chord. Play a five chord. Play a six chord. Play a four chord. If you know the key of G major really well, you can do that. It says, somebody says play one chord, play a G. Somebody says play a five, play a D. Somebody says play a six, play an E minor. All right, so that's one thing that you really need to be aware of and have done really well. But what if um, the song you're playing is in the key of C major and you don't know all the chords or you don't wanna play an F bar chord? What you can do is just use a capo to take these G shapes and put them to where they're actually C chord, uh, C chord, right? Or the chords in the key of C, but you're still, still thinking about G shapes. And nobody wants to play a bar chord like this. That is a flipping nightmare, right? So what you do is just move your G chord up to where the root note, this lowest root note is on whatever key you want to be in. So if I want to be in the key of C, I would move up to A, B, C right here on the eighth fret. And instead of reaching back here with a bar, just throw a capo on there on the fifth fret and you'll be playing in the key of C major, so you don't have to think about the chords in the key of C major, you can think about just numbers or the key of G major. And so I just played a 1-4-5 progression in the key of C, but I was thinking about the 1-4-5 chords in the key of G, G, C, D, you can play an E minor which is actually an A minor in the key of C. Don't worry about that. Just know that once you have these chords down in the key of G, all you need is your capo to get through any song when you're playing a bluegrass gig. Let's do another key. Let's say uh, somebody was playing in the key of A and you want to use uh, G shapes to do that. So think about your G shape and then think about, okay, I need to get to the key of A. So what do I do? I take my lowest root note and move it up to where it would be in the key that I want to play. So that'll be an A. So a G. A is one step higher, so what I'll do is since I move that up two frets, I'll just put my capo on the second fret, and then just play G shapes. And I'm actually playing just G, C, and D shapes in the key of G, right, thinking about it like that, but in reality I'm playing an A, a D, and an E, and for the F, for the sixth chord you have an F sharp minor. 
and for the uh, three chord or the two chord, sorry, you have a B minor, which looks just like an A minor. So it's a really convenient thing and a super fun way, an easy way to get through any bluegrass tune. I know this can be kind of intimidating if you've never done it before, but the more you practice with the capo, the easier it will become and you'll be like, oh, I just need a capo three or I just need a capo five. Just work at it, start to expose yourself to it and get some experience with it and it will get a lot easier. So let me know in the comments below what is your favorite bluegrass song to play or which one do you want to learn? I'll see you later.